South Korea is investing heavily in urban regeneration, part of efforts to improve the social infrastructure of outdated areas across the nation. According to our Cha Sang-mi, the project is also expected to boost the local economy and help create more jobs. The South Korean government has designated 22 new areas for urban regeneration for the first half of this year. It comes as part of government plans to inject over 12 billion U.S. dollars to revitalize the local economy by 2023. Prime Minister Lee Nagyeon during the Special Urban Regeneration Committee meeting on Monday said South Korea's cities were built when the economy was growing rapidly and the population was rising, but that the cities are now growing old. By next year, 40 percent of our buildings will be over 30 years old. Urban regeneration will rise as an issue as important as constructing new buildings. The Transport Ministry said it will select an additional 100 areas for urban regeneration this year, of which 30 percent will be selected during the first half of the year and the 70 percent in the latter half. The project is mainly divided into two types, improving the residential environment and forming innovative clusters. The project areas are dispersed throughout the nine provinces of Korea, including Gyeonggi-do and Gangwon-do provinces. The goal of the project? To improve housing, welfare and quality of life by repairing residential environments and expanding parking lots, libraries and care homes, and to restore urban areas by turning old downtown areas into innovative clusters that combine entrepreneurship, culture and administrative functions. The government believes the project will create jobs and attract visitors to the rejuvenated areas. The project also aims to help integrate local people and restore communities. As well as financial support, the government will help these projects through other means such as deregulation. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News.